This is the homework for lesson 13. It's module 7 of third grade. Please write your name here first. You don't want to forget it later and then turn in your homework with no name on it. Find the perimeters of the shapes below. Include the units in your equations. Match the letter inside each shape to its perimeter to solve the riddle. The first one has been done for you. So you've probably seen pages like this before. Um, you tend to get them a lot, especially when you're, um, when you have a, maybe you have a substitute teacher or something like that. And this is just, um, adding up the perimeters and it's going to make like a, it's going to like make a code that matches up with, uh, with the numbers. So I'm just going to solve all of these first and then figure out the code. And I'm just going to keep using the letter P for perimeter. You can see they did that here, even though it's letter Q. Uh, they used P for perimeter instead. So I'm just going to keep doing what they did. And write the equations. And it says here, include the units in your equation. So just like in the example, you're going to write inches or feet. Like this one has feet. This one here has centimeters. Some of them might be in yards or inches or meters. So pay attention to those units because you always have to pay attention to units. You always have to pay attention to what it is we're counting. So we have, what, three sixes and two nines here. So six feet plus six feet plus six feet plus nine feet plus nine feet and okay so that went over to to the uh, underneath the parallelogram but that's okay and we can we just we don't need a lot more space we can add that all together mentally so the three sixes is 18, and the two nines is 18, and two 18s is 36. So that's 36 feet. And then for S, we've got two fives and two sevens. So that's, we'll just write this down here. Five uh, P equals five plus five plus seven oops and i forgot the units i'm gonna erase that and go back five centimeters plus five centimeters plus seven okay p equals and so we have two fives for a 10 and two sevens is 14 so 10 and 14 is 24 just like that and then here for shape a we have two sevens a five and a nine so p equals seven plus seven oh forgetting the units again it's so easy to do that seven yards plus seven yards plus five yards plus nine yards equals, well, let's see, two sevens is 14, and nine plus five is also 14, so two 14s is 28. All right, and then M is just four fours. And four times four is 16, or four fours is 16. And for E, we have two eights and two fives. And you can either think of that as two thirteens or a 10 to 16, but I'm gonna make it five CM plus five cm 
plus 8. Plus 8. CM. So 10 plus 16 is 26. And then this one here, we have two sevens and a six. But it's a three, I'm thinking a three and a four, that makes a seven, and then another seven, and then a six. So, and units again. And adding these up mentally, the way I think of it, and you may think of it just as with all of these, you may have a different way to group these uh, to put them together. I'm seeing that three and that four makes a seven, and two sevens is fourteen, and then there's that six right there that makes that gets me to twenty. And then finally, this one here, which is letter, oh, it looks like an L. So we've got uh, twos fours and a three so and then meters so those two twos I'm thinking of those as a four and then I have three fours which is 12 and a three which makes 15 All right, and now I can, what kind of meals do math teachers eat? So we'll go back here and look at all the codes. Uh, 24 is here. So that's, that's letter S. Let's see if there are any other 24s. There's one at the end. And then we need a 21. 21 is here, so that's letter Q. I think they're going to be square meals. And 20 has got to be a U, right? Yep, it is. There's 20, it's a U. And 28. And you don't have to mark these like I am. I'm just doing it to show you where they are. Uh, 28 is this right here, so that's A. And then 36, I mean, are there any other A's? Yeah, there are. There's one here. It looks like my guess might be good. Uh, 36. 36 is here, that's R. And 26 is going to be, probably going to be, yep, 26 is the E. And there's another 26. And now 16. Hmm. See, I got a 15 here. Okay, so there's 15. Oops, wrong color. 15 for L. And 16, there's the 16, and that's M. All right, so if you have some numbers that didn't, uh, that you couldn't find, then you might have made a mistake. But that's how it should work out, square meals. Next page. That was kind of fun. I always like those puzzles. Alicia's rectangular garden is 33 feet long and 47 feet wide. What is the perimeter of Alicia's garden? Well, I'm looking at this. We have to add up the sides. So I'm looking at what's the best way to do that. Should I add up the 33s first or should I add up a 33 and a 47 first? Well, I'm seeing this 3 and that 7 and that's a 10 right there. So I'm thinking that if I do that, then that's going to be easier to add. So I'm just going to just write 
33 plus 47. I'm just going to write it this way because it's the way I'm thinking of it. So 33 and 47. And I'm going to do this to kind of show it's just like a number bond, really. Um, that's a 10. And then the th 3 tens and 4 tens is 7 tens. So that's 8 tens. That's 80. And then this is also 80. So that's 160 feet. Now don't be fooled because this is shaded in. We're not looking for the area. So thankfully you don't have to multiply 47 by 33 to find out what's inside. If she was going to buy a fence to go around the outside of her garden, it would be 160 feet of fence. As a perimeter of 160 feet. Got to have an equation. Got to have an answer statement. You have to have those things. You don't have to draw those arrows I drew, but you do have to have those two things. It's a word problem. And the picture they gave us already, so we don't need to draw our own picture. Jacques measured the side lengths of the shape below. Find the perimeter of Jacques' shape. So again, we're looking for ways to make 10. And that's how we're going to write our equation. So this is all just adding up the sides, right? Well, I see a 7 and a 3 next to each other. There's a 10. And I see a 5 and a 2 and a 3. That's a 10 because that makes 5. So 5 and 5 is 10. And then it gets harder because we have, what do we have? Two 4s for an 8 and maybe a 5. You might have a different way of adding it all together. But that's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 and it's a it's a way to check just count how many sides there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then count how many numbers you're adding 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 just to make sure you didn't skip any and we'll make this an equation right that equals p for perimeter and then so we, we figured out that this is 10 and these are 10 and that's 8 and that's a 5 so p equals those two tens make 20 the 8 and the 5 makes a 13 so 20 and 13 is 33 inches Thirty-three inches around, or should I should rephrase this? Has a thirty-three inch perimeter. Jacques says his shape is an octagon. Is he right? Why or why not? Well, didn't we just count how many sides there were? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. It has eight sides. He is right. And if you want to get the extra points, you could just say it has eight sides. But you could say it is, you could say it's a polygon with eight sides. It is a flat. You don't have to write all this. You could just say it has eight sides, and that would be fine. It's a flat, closed shape with eight 
straight sides.